this was one of the larger churches in 13th century Paris, uh, and uh, one of the major foyers of uh, the growing, developing University of Paris. Uh, it was home uh, to such leading intellectual lights in the 13th century as Saint Bonaventure uh, and Duns Scotus. And since it's been demolished, it was demolished uh, around 1800, um, it represents a kind of a, a, a big gap uh, in the architectural history of Paris. This project really started um, with trying to put back together as far as possible uh, the, the appearance of the church. Uh, and there's a, there's a fairly good graphic record um, that uh, was created by artists uh, who uh, uh, represented the church uh, rather romantically uh, as a ruin uh, during its demolition. Uh, so you find uh, horses and other animals grazing uh, in the interior of the church, creating a kind of nostalgic uh, image. Uh, there are also uh, uh, very schematic bird's eye views uh, of the building um, from early maps of Paris, uh, but they don't provide much detail. So uh, that's, I, I suppose, uh, kind of uh, completed by a lot of uh, conjecture and hopefully uh, uh, well-informed guesswork. I had talked to Nick about um, finding a tool uh, to uh, represent the building uh, as it might have appeared in the Middle Ages uh, with a complete roof uh, and as a, uh, a whole structure. Mm -hmm. uh, so Nick uh, um, uh, suggested a Google SketchUp and that, that's really paid off in, in raising the kind of detailed uh, questions and, and providing a much more evocative sense of the interior space uh, than, uh, than the existing images. The, choir end of the building is absent from all representation. And that led uh, to a, a lot of guesswork about what kind of roof uh, uh, was over those, those eastern spaces, over the choir area and its chapel. Was it a flat roof? Was it a pitched roof? Was it a pyramidal roof? In uh, fiddling around with the roof, um, we realized that one of the chapels below um, had to be modified to accommodate uh, the, the shape of the roof as it was represented. So the, 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 the plan, uh, I suppose, uh, was, was altered in, in light or as a consequence of this uh, kind of series of questions. I'm hoping um, uh, to, to use these you know, with greater frequency um, in the years ahead in, in, in classes, especially for um, medieval buildings, um, particularly those uh, that have disappeared, uh, this is a great way, uh, a great tool, and, and I suppose in some ways a kind of an animated counterpart uh, of uh, QTVRs uh, to actually take um, viewers into the building, spin them around, uh, up, uh, let them uh, look up and down, and really uh, uh, gain a sense of, uh, of an interior space, of monuments, of paintings, sculpture, tombs, uh, things like that. I think it's also a, a, can serve as a very uh, good critical tool uh, in evaluating uh, the kind of um, deformations um, and interpretive strategies of visual artists when they represent uh, buildings or environments. They stretch things or they may emphasize uh, certain aspects a and this I think provides a kind of in some ways a control or counterpart uh, to that. You know uh, students too um, I think can get involved in, in the whole project of reconstructing buildings and try their hands at, at, at SketchUp. So uh, I think it's a, uh, an, an interactive uh, tool um, uh, with, a, with a lot of potential.